Good afternoon, LHS. I am Laura Gilbert. And I am Alfredo Rojina. Today is Friday, September 9th, 2016. Let's take a look at the three-day forecast with weatherman Lenat Jimenez. Hello, LHS. I am WLHS reporter Lenat Jimenez. And for today, Friday, September 9th, the weather will rise up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And at night, it will go back down to a mild 67. So make sure you dress appropriate for the game. Beat the mount. And for Saturday, it will escalate up to 91 degrees Fahrenheit, and at night, it will go back down to a cool 62 degrees. And for Sunday, it will go up to an 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and at night, it will go back down to a mild 59 degrees. Thank you, and have a good day. Back to you, Laura P. Gilbert. Thank you, Letnad. The school trust code is an important part of the school policy. We interviewed LHS principal Mr. Giovino about the topic. What are your views on the school dress code? Our dress code, when it was initiated, uh, really changed the culture of our school. Students would come to school dressed um, like they just rolled out of bed. Now our, our students have taken it to a new level, uh, dressing up, being professional, and especially as our juniors, sophomores, and freshmen must do an internship, it is very important that we look professional, especially when we're out in the community. So our dress code, even though it's not very popular with all the students, our, you guys look great coming to school, going home from school, and everyone knows who an 11 and high school student is. As you can see, Mr. Giovino feels very strongly about the dress code. The members of the broadcast team have constructed a video to show you some examples of appropriate and inappropriate school attire. The dress code consists of neutral colored pants. Also, no leggings, joggers, camo, sweatpants, or pajamas. As for tops, guys must wear collared shirts, and girls must wear blouses or collared shirts as well. Ladies, please do not wear spaghetti straps, and tanks must be following the three finger rule. As for t-shirts, no one should be wearing them, unless it is approved seat or wear. Mr. Ludwig has applied for a national grant for a project to be set in place for the betterment of our Lebanon community. This project will involve the whole district as well as many members of the community. Let's roll a clip of an overview of this project and its goals. Last week brought a lot of excitement to our Cedars athletic fields. Let's meet your 2016 fall sports captains. I'm Laura Gilbert. And I'm Katie Bird. And we're captains of the girls' tennis team. My name is Megan. I'm Pilo Morales. Tamara Rozier. And we're captains of the field hockey team. Maddie. And I'm Katie, and we're captains of the girls' soccer team. <laughs> I'm Sebastian Sierra. I'm Luke. 
and we're captains of the soccer team. I'm Aurianis, and I'm Charlene, and we're captains of the girls' volleyball team. I'm Tim Spangler, and I'm captain of the golf team. I'm Haiti. I'm Lennon. And I'm Emily. And we're the captains for the cheer team. Colleague Washington, Cody Kidney, and we're the captains of the football team. Good luck to all of our Cedar sports teams this fall season. Looking for some Friday entertainment? Come out and support our Cedars in their many games tonight. If you can make it to more than one, that would be great. The varsity field hockey team will be home against Anvil at 4 p.m. The football team is away at Ephrata and will begin at 7 p.m. Mascots are needed. Have you got the Cedar spirit and want a way to show it? Why not try being a mascot? Mrs. Johnson is looking for students who are willing to suit up for the fall, winter, or spring sports seasons. For more information, message Mrs. Johnson or stop by her room in 258. A reminder that detention is every day after school in room L221 at 3 p.m. sharp. If you would like additional assistance with math, English, or SAT prep, please see Mrs. Clark, Ms. Norman, or Ms. Kidron for more information. You must have a pass from Mrs. Kidron in the library before <clears throat> period 6. There are limited spots, so make sure you get a pass promptly. You must have a pass, no exceptions. As always, if you have any interest in partaking in our broadcast, please contact a member of WLHS. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Lebanon, Lebanon High. high.